Good morning, guys. I hope you're doing well. Um, I am freshly showered, getting ready for my day because I'm going to take you guys along to this fun pop-up that I got invited to. I got free tickets, so I'm going to take my friend Melissa. Um, but I just wanted to sit down and do a little real talk with you guys because... <laughs> As I've talked about before in the last couple months of videos, I feel like I am going through so many changes on so many levels and there's been a lot of high highs and there's been a lot of really low lows and a whole bunch of speed bumps in between. And something that I've really been recognizing, especially in the last couple of weeks, when I'm in a state that doesn't feel pleasant, uh, to really ask myself the question of whether this thought or this idea or this assumed scenario uh, is coming from love or from fear. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of the book A Course in Miracles. Please let me know in the comments down below if you guys have. I actually got a really good uh, starter version called A Course in Miracles Made Easy by Alan Cohen, and it is phenomenal. I'm actually already on my second round of going through the book because it was just blowing my mind every five minutes, and I like to actually reread books a lot because I find it sinks in better, and I usually get new sort of epiphanies every time as well. So if you guys haven't heard of that book, I will actually um, put a link down below. And as you guys know, I am an Audible affiliate and can offer you guys a free um, book for signing up for the trial that even if you cancel it, you're not charged anything and you get to keep the book. So it's basically risk-free and you can try it out. So I will put a link to that in the description. But basically that's the main synopsis of A Course in Miracles, even though the original text is these like big three fat books of like life shattering information. And I do plan on going through those books, but I thought I would start myself off with a baby version that had really good reviews. And honestly, it is probably one of the best books I have ever read so far. And anytime I find myself getting really wound up or upset or nervous about something, I really try and just take a step back and watch my thought process and see if it is coming from a very fear-based approach of like looking at the negative, the worst case scenario, assuming certain things that I don't have the answer to, like that obviously is coming from a state of fear. And on the other hand, I've had many a times, thankfully, where I get opportunities presented to me or I just meet people and automatically I just have this really good feeling about them or um, about a situation or something I should do and the decision sometimes comes ready-made. Other times, of course, I will take some extra time to really process it and use the intellectual mind as well to make decisions. I'm not saying you should do everything on hunches, but the more you utilize your intuition, the stronger it gets. I always try and remind myself to just like take a step back, especially with the bigger sort of decisions and really see what kind of energy is surrounding, you know, my two or three choices, whatever it is, because there really is just so much going on. I'm basically six weeks out now from my trip and I'm just trying to get everything all lined up as much as possible. And as Tony Robbins says, like, if you wanna take the island, you gotta burn your boats. <laughs> so I'm basically in the position now in my life where I am like, burning the boats. I have like made the decision that I am stepping into this new life that I always imagined for myself. I'm, even though I'm afraid, I'm still going to do it because I know it's the right thing to do. I know I'll be supported and, uh, 
that's just where I'm at. And to basically keep my anxiety level uh, as low as possible, I have been finding that it's so important for me to take time off like more than ever and just have fun. <laughs> That's exactly what I'll actually be doing today. I'm so excited. I got free tickets to this event because it's supposed to be like adult recess and I'm really excited to see my friend Melissa. So I thought I would take you guys along, have a fun sort of vlog day and just choose love over fear. <laughs> here to Dundas West and we are just coming up to hide and seek where I'm gonna meet Melissa. Well hello guys I'm here with the lovely Melissa. Hi. If you guys have been watching my vlogs you saw her in New York. You yes. saw her amazing podcast which I will link in the description. Oh that's nice. Of course. Of course. And we are in hide and seek which is a pop-up that is dedicated to adult recess. So we're going to take some fabulous pictures and we're going to take you guys along. We're pretty excited. Heck yes. Yeah. I was calling out to me with my eyes on the wall. You were running like a ghost from me. You were running from it all. You got me waiting. I'm on fire. You got me Like sometimes, no, but mine was possessed. It would literally like it would say things like while we were in like, conversation what do you that mean? was like appropriate. I'm telling you. Well, I that was in my ghost house too. <laughs> Once I thought you were mine, baby. We're safe and sound. You got me. into the ball pit. She said not to jump in case you hurt yourself. Oh, I'm scared. Yeah, you'll be okay. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so strange. Really? Yeah, like how do you get up? No, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take this thing in here. Oh, so weird. <laughs> oh, it is. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep swimming. Just keep Actually, swimming. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> oh my god, she's gone. And she's gone, folks. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. I don't know. Have it is. Ball um, not since I was like a little kid. Oh my god, you're just ahead. <laughs> Bed 
time. Oh, girl, this is so cool. Oh, Teddy. Cute. Adorable. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this fun adventure with us. We did. Yeah, of course we did. It's like feel like I really was a kid again and back in the 90s. So if you did want to check out Hide and Seek, I actually have a discount code for you guys. I will link it in the description. Make sure you check it out. Say bye to Melissa. Bye, Melissa. <laughs> yes.